morning everyone welcome back to another Buenos Aires vlog we have had the rainiest last four days like I have never experienced this much rain ever and the weather today still is so gloomy and so cloudy but thankfully it's not raining today and Michael and I are off to do something really exciting we are going to get pancakes and American breakfast because we had just been craving it. So we're on our way to get some nice, good, delicious American breakfast. And I'm so excited. I've been craving pancakes literally forever and we can make them at home. But the thing is the syrup here is so expensive. It's like $10 a bottle. So this is our substitution. We just got done eating at Jay's and truthfully, I haven't had an American breakfast like that in so long. I ate those pancakes like I've never eaten pancakes before. The pancakes were really good. I would give them an eight out of 10. They would have been upgraded if they had like blueberries or chocolate chips in them. But like truthfully, it was a really good pancake. I have nothing else to say. Michael had waffles and I tried his. His were pretty good too. Yeah, but the pancakes were better. The pancakes, I'm not gonna lie, were a little bit better. So if you're looking for some good American breakfast, I would recommend to come here. And also the dining room in itself is so American. Like for a minute, I kind of forgot that I was in Buenos Aires because it was just, it was so American in there. It was so funny. Michael and I are at a little museum right now and it was really close to Jay's where we just ate at and it's kind of nice it's like an interactive museum because you can go into different rooms and you can go into like different patios which I think is really cool it's small it's cute and it was free so we've actually had our eye on this since we came here because we're in like the Santa Fe area and when we first came to Buenos Aires we lived like right on Santa Fe so we didn't get the chance to come here when we lived closer to here so it's kind of nice to be able to come back and actually do some of the things that we didn't get to do before. Also, it's really weird to like come back to where we first moved when we came this year because it's just like, I can't believe like eight months ago we were living here and now we're living like somewhere completely else with like our own furniture bought and we're planning on staying here longer than we thought. Like it's so weird to think what can happen in just eight months. It's, it blows my mind, it really does. One of the things I've been obsessed with recently is this dinner. It's like a Chipotle dinner style, but made at home. It has rice, chicken with beans, and I love adding extra vegetables into this. So we have some corn here too. I've been like obsessed with this. And we also have some cheese to go with it. Michael makes an amazing dinner, and this has just been like everything to me. My media luna, I tear it. Tear it and then bite it. Well, Messi eats it with his hands. He doesn't tear it apart. That's a true fact. Comment down below how you eat a media luna. <laughs> do you bite it as a whole or do you tear it apart like I am? I'm kind of nervous because last time I said that I don't eat 
ice cream in the winter and everyone was like Chanel literally everyone in the whole entire world eats ice cream in the winter so now I'm gonna be like oh I tear my media Luna's so everyone gonna be like I feel like that was more objective of course ice cream in the winter is awesome but I feel like this is just w whatever you prefer it's always whatever you prefer until you're on the wrong side exactly there's some things that it's not that Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Michael and I made our way over to the Eco Reserve today, and we're doing like one of the shortest walks because one of the longest walks here can take you like up to three hours to do. And Michael and I opted for the 45 minute loop. And one of the first things that we did when we visited Argentina for the very first time was to come to the Eco Reserve and do this loop. And we've been thinking about doing this ever since we came back the second time to live here so it's like surreal coming here because i kid you not this was like one of the first things that we did it's like kind of nostalgic for us but it's really nice it's peaceful it's quiet if you haven't gone here yet i highly recommend um you can't come with a dog though so we couldn't bring max today and usually you can bring like your bike here but they said today for whatever reason you can't ride your bike but i think it's because the trails are like kind of muddy because it's been raining non-stop for like the past five days and one of the is so that's what i think but i'm not entirely sure this is kind of nice too because it's like an escape from the city like i kid you not looking around us all you see is trees you see no buildings you hear no cars you hear no honking it's very relaxing and it's very quiet so if you're the type of person who likes hiking and things like that come here and check it out i would say it just gets better as you go yeah so like first you're like oh a little bit right then you know you make it a little bit and it just gets nicer and nicer i'm excited to do the big loop but that's a big commitment it's a big commitment to do the big loop because like if you're here and you're not committed to getting out like no one's coming to save you like you literally have to commit to the whole thing and today's not that day a different day yes but not today Can you see this right now? I don't think I've ever been this close to like the Puerto Madero Towers and I'm like, I'm in awe. Like I've been looking at them and I'm like, I knew they were big, but I never realized how freaking big they are. Like they seem taller than some New York City buildings. Like when you really look at it, I don't know why this is amazing to me right now. Yeah, like I can't even imagine like living in one of these. Like imagine living up there. Imagine living up there. A literal bridge. I see. You have a bridge connecting you. Puerto Madero is nice and all, but I don't think I could ever live here personally because there's like no public transportation around here. There's no buses and there's like no soup day really you have to walk to it and it's like kind of a far walk and it seems like everyone who lives around here probably has a car and i never want to own a car again so like i hope i always continue to live in a city with good public transportation because when i sold my car in new york i was like the happiest ever i can't stand driving also one thing about puerto madero too is like there's no like grocery stores or anything like that so i'm like where are people getting their food from
Hello everyone, happy St. Patrick's Day. We are here at La Panera Rosa, which is like the pink restaurant, if you've ever been around Buenos Aires and seen this big pink restaurant. We have kind of been wanting to come here for a little bit, but I actually had a Spanish class today and my tutor recommended that we come here today and that just kind of like, it made the ultimate deciding factor of why we decided to come here today. So we're here right now. We got some Media Lunas with Hamoni Heso and they were phenomenal. The Media Lunas here literally are like the biggest Media Lunas I've ever seen in my whole entire life. And they stuffed them with Hamoni Heso. So it was very well worth it. Did I say it's the Patrick's Day? Hello everyone, happy St. Patrick's Day. So me and Michael and Max are all wearing green. I'm wearing green shorts, you can't see it right now. And we're gonna continue our little day out in Recoleta by doing a little bit more walking and we'll see where the day brings us. We spent the day out today at Recoleta and we just came back. We left at like 11 in the morning and we just came back. It's like three right now. And today we walked 7,200-ish steps, which isn't a lot of steps, but my feet are killing me from walking in the eco reserve yesterday but it was really nice because we haven't taken max with us on the subway in like a little bit so it was happy to see him there we went to las hitas dog park which is like our favorite dog park in the city if you have a dog if you haven't been to las hitas dog park it's right outside of the h line of las hitas it's beautiful and there's always so many dogs there and we did stop and we got two little things from the Recoleta Market, which I'm so ecstatic about. We got this little turtle. Can you be so for real right now? It is iconic. It's adorable. It's cute. I'm so impressed by like all of the crocheted stuff. This was 2000 pesos, so like $2 and it is the cutest thing. And we also got this dog crocheted stuffed animal thing. It's so adorable and cute. I love the little eye patch right there. This costed us like 3,500 pesos, so like three and a half dollars. And I'm obsessed with the crochet materials. I want to hang a shelf right above like my office teaching area and I just want to put like the little crocheted stuff there. I talked about this in last week's vlog but we do have this one too, which I absolutely love. And these three together. Literally. Maybe I'm too happy about this, but this is just too cute. It's just too cute. Be so for real. Be so for real. This is not gonna stay like this, but this is the shelf that we're working with right now. And I promised you guys before, that I would show you our bedroom in this week's vlog. If you've been watching for a few weeks now, we've been talking about it, how we've been working to make it like kind of new, kind of nice and cozy. And it's not as complete as I wish it was. But I think I'm gonna show you it today. Just seeing this in the background makes me so incredibly happy. We're gonna start part by part, but this is one of the walls that we have and it's two beautiful green posters. Spoiler alert, we really wanted to make this room like a greenish, neutral, bamboo-ish type vibe-ish room. And we got these posters the day that we went to Onsen a few vlogs ago, and I'm obsessed. All right. This angle's ridiculous, but now we have a beautiful green bed. We have these green pillows, and we have this nice green blanket that goes with it. I love it so, so much. Oh, it's making me so happy. Uh, uh, uh. No wet dogs on the bed. No wet dogs on the bed. And I talked about getting this in last week's vlog. We got this at a little local art festival and I love the greenness. It ties in our room so well. And it's a nice little representation of Argentina too. Got this curtain rod off of Mercado Libre and it's pretty long. And we also got these curtains. I'm not in love with them. I may want to change them to a different color. So we may be returning these, but these are blackout curtains and they work so well. Excited, excited beyond belief. I've been the biggest Pokemon fan since like I was the littlest kid ever. And when I was younger, my room used to be filled with like Pokemon posters and Pokemon plushies. So having this 
giant Bulbasaur in my room. It's like nostalgic for one, but also it's so iconic. And I just recently mentioned that we had to have someone hang up the curtain rod up here in our bedroom, but the same person who came also had to hang up a curtain rod in our living room, had to hang up a mirror in our bathroom, and we also had him hang up a few shelves in Michael's office area. So we found someone local from here to do it, and he did all of that for like 15,000 pesos. And for us, it was a really good deal because he came with all of his necessities. He came with a ladder, he had to drive here, and it took like two hours to get like this work done. And while he was here, we literally lost power so he was so kind and like waited with us and like chatted with us a little bit too so we would definitely have him come again so if i do want to get a little shelf thing right there we would have him come back too i'm so excited if you can't tell this is like a dream come true to me and with all this excitement being said i do think i'm gonna close the vlog here and if you've enjoyed watching this video be sure to like it give it a thumbs up and comment down below the engagement that you put into my channel really helps me spread my videos out to more amazing people just like you and if you haven't done so already please make sure to subscribe because i would love to have you here for the long run and i'll see you in the next one literally so excited like beaming with joy right now we have a new vlogging space so, 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 so happy! What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Should I really do it like this? No. Does it look good? This looks ridiculous. Give me my camera. And if you haven't done... <laughs> and if you haven't done...